All right. So in order to get to the magic sheet, uh, each section of each screen, there's three possible screens. We might have an actual f second physical screen, which could have three other displays on it. And there are tabs at the bottom of each section here. Uh, so you can have any number of ways to look at things here. We're going to go over to this display. And this is our magic sheet. And it looks a lot like the light plot for this theater. Uh, the instruments aren't necessarily shown in their physical location, but instead closer to the areas that they're lighting, so it's easier to tell. For instance, these are actually out on a truss in the house, which would be down here somewhere, and, and these are way out above the cross aisle. Um, but this should make it easier for you to establish a look, and a look is... Um, what we want the lights to look like for a certain scene. So just basically, you can click on any lighting instrument here. Uh, let's click on this one that's focused in the pit here. And that has selected channel 65. You'll notice that the outline highlighted into a different color. Down here on our command line, it says live, means we're live on stage right now, as opposed to a blind mode where you're just working on with the data. Um, it's we've selected channel 65. I can select a color, a, an intensity palette here. These are just for convenience. So I've just put it at full. You'll notice that the instrument got filled in. And now we could pick a color. Let's make it amber. Um, I could decide, oh, that's way too bright. Let's make it 30% and maybe we'll go with BA which is a much lighter amber and looks much better on the skin. This is Roscoe O2, or as close as these LED lights can get to that. Uh, sometimes the rendering is good, sometimes not so good. Later we'll talk about how to get pickier about the color. So we have just set that light at that level, and you can see it says channel 65, color palette 9. The diamond means that the enter key has been punched, although I didn't. When I clicked the palette, it automatically did that. Um, so suppose I want the downstage wash, or let's, let's just say we want area four here to be on. So I could select this light and I could select that one, or I'm going to double click off here in the black area to deselect them. I could just select the area and that automatically selects both of them. It's called group four, but you don't really need to know what number it is. You just know you want light here. And then I can put those on at full. And then I can go and make them no color pink. Or I could make them magenta. And then I could say, well, that seems like a reasonable, no, no, it's too bright. Let's take it to 50%. Or I can go to my virtual keypad. Uh, you can go to your physical keypad on the board. Um, and push the at button and then click select any intensity you like. Let's say we want 74%. Of course, that's not going to do anything until I hit the enter key over here. And now I get my gold diamond here. And if I make my keypad go away, you'll see there we are at 74%. We're still on color palette 5. Another thing I could do is I could select the entire mid-stage wash. See, I've just selected all these pars here, and now I can set them at, uh, let's set them at 80%, and let's make them green. That looks like fun. Or, you know, I've changed my mind. I think I want the ones coming in from stage right to be, hmm, let's make them cyan. Okay, so I've got groups here that I can select just the stage right or just the stage left. Let's take the stage left ones and instead of color palette, instead of 60%, let's make them at 80%. And I've just done all that. Um, so uh, we also have psych lights back here. They're going to operate the same way. Let's put them at full. Let's make them blue. Uh, we have top light, upstage, downstage and mid-stage, and, and mid-stage and downstage. Um, and so I've selected all the top light right now. You can see groups 37, 36, and 35. 
and let's make them red. This is a deadly scene, and we're going to put them at full and just flood the stage with red light from the top. Uh, you can see this is pretty pretty easy and pretty intuitive. So now I've established this look. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about um, how to record a cue.